So, you're looking for a good but portable drone that you don't have to register. Look no further, because in this guide I'm going to show you my top drones that are under 250 grams. Hi, I'm Paul from dronesgitter.com and if you don't yet know, drones under 250 grams are popular because the FAA from the United States and quite a few other countries force people to register drones that are over 250 grams. So I just made this list where I ranked the drones from pretty much the cheapest to the more expensive but better ones at the end. I have a complete article linked down in the description with even more drone recommendations and questions you may be curious to know the answer to. The Parrot Mambo is a decent product from Parrot that arrives with a set of goggles, an FPV camera and a USB charger. The Parrot Mambo was one of the mini drones to have the optical position hold feature. It also has an acoustic sensor for sonar at the bottom that helps maintain altitude. The Mambo is easy to fly and performs better than most toy drones on the market. It's a very stable drone, ready to be flown indoors and outdoors, no problem. The FunSky 913 is a lightweight, durable drone that is almost as quiet as the Anafi. The packaging matches that of the Phantom 4, which conveys a good first impression. The drone is GPS enabled and is built to depict the word compact. The drone has features such as return to home mode and a sport mode, in addition to a camera that can tilt up and down, but only manually. As a 5G Wi-Fi drone, you must have the right phone that can relay the footage. I was really impressed with how stable it flies and how silent it is. I've tested many drones in my life, but this one simply has something special. Between the high quality build, the low noise propellers and super precise GPS, I can't recommend it enough. For the price point, there is hardly another drone that matches the performance of the DJ Tello. RISE Robotics installed ground sensors at the bottom, referred to as the vision system, which keeps the drone really steady in the air. It's a drone made for beginners, but with some stunning feats. Incredibly good flight stabilization, coupled with good electronic chemi stabilization, makes for quite a capable mini drone for taking videos around the neighborhood. It does have a slight issue with the frames cutting from time to time, but I think it more than compensates with the stunning photos the Tello takes. It's quite incredible how good they can be. The MJX Bugs B7 is a newly released drone from MJX. One of my favorite drone companies, and I have not been paid to say this. Their new Bugs B7 is a capable GPS drone that weighs under 250 grams and can fall down. The image is not stabilized indeed, which is a big no-no if you want to take professional footage. But they do brag about the camera recording in 4K or 2.7K depending on the version you pick. The 15 minute flight time is a decent for beginners who want to fly a good GPS drone that has flight modes included like return to home, circle me and so on. By the way, you can check the prices for all these drones down in the description. We're starting to get closer to more professional level drones, the JJRC X9 being a 2 axis stabilized gimbal drone. This means your footage is going to look smoother than with any of the previously mentioned drones. The GPS is also useful and considering you're getting all this and powerful brushless motors for under $200, it's not bad at all. The king of all drones under 250 grams. The DJI Mavic Mini was just released this year and people went nuts over it. The flight time is record setting, the camera shoots at 2.7K, which is good enough. Small, incredible and powerful, that sums up the Mini, DJI's latest industry mover drone. Weighing only 249 grams, the drone is as light as a smartphone. That makes it portable for any user going out on an adventurous trip. However, do not mistake the small size for weakness, as it does perform a lot better than most medium price drones. A good number of features on the Mavic 2 Pro and Mavic Air are present, giving it the feel of professionalism exceeding that of the Spark. The flight time is record setting at 31 minutes in the air and the 3 axis gimbal does an incredible job at stabilizing the footage. So if you're looking for footage that is usable in a semi-professional environment or as a pretty good backup drone for anyone who's looking to work professionally, then this is quite good for you. It's also like the perfect travel drone, definitely the best under 250 grams. Period. So you went out and got yourself a drone or plan to get one. But what if I told you that you can actually make a lot of money with these and you don't have to be an expert? The most frustrating thing that me and some of my videographer friends have been through is just searching on YouTube forums or Facebook groups just to learn bits of information about drones. But since everybody and their dad has a drone these days, 
you need to stand out. The biggest shift in terms of knowledge and progression happened about a year ago and it was all in a weekend, when I discovered my first cinematography course from my now online mentor Alex Harris. This guy filmed and directed all over the world and got into drones even before they were popular. He made a complete course on cinematography, custom flight and gimbal settings that can help you to get way better footage, shooting flat and situational color grading how to edit 4K videos on old PCs, what equipment you need and most importantly exactly how to find clients and make them pay you a lot for your time no matter where you live in the world. If you want to get $100 off from this complete course that will change your life, click the link down in the description or right here at the top and you will find a lot more information about what the course is all about. And if you're interested in getting my free guide with the top 9 cinematic drone moves that can make you stand out, click right here at the top. Please leave a comment down below if you have any questions whatsoever and I'll make sure to answer as fast as possible. See ya later alligator!